Good morning, Pre-K Superstars. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Welcome to our online learning video of the day. First, we are going to go over our online learning rules. One, play and talk quietly. You are inside and we do not shout while we are inside. We only shout when you go outside. Two, share toys and learning materials. If you are home, and your family members need to use the same toys or tools that you are using, remember to be kind and share with them. Three, clean up after yourself. Just like in the classroom, when you are done playing or using something, put it back where you found it so that next time that you need to use it, you know where you can find it. Four, be kind. Listen to your teacher and family members. At school, Ms. Guzman has rules to keep you and your body safe. At home, your family also has rules to keep your body safe. Remember to follow those rules. Five, try your very best. When things are difficult, we do not give up. We try and try until we get it right. Okay, morning message. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Good morning, Pre-K Superstars. Oops. Today is Wednesday. Today we are going to review the three basic needs of human beings. Love, Ms. Guzman. Beautiful. Today we are going to talk about the three things that all human beings need to stay alive. We talked about this several months ago when we learned about the human body. There are some things that we all need to stay alive. I want you to think in your head, what were those three things? We're gonna read about them. So to just keep thinking. And if you have a family member nearby, you can whisper to them, what were the three things that all human beings need to stay alive? Go ahead and whisper it to someone. Okay. We'll talk about that later. Right now, we're going to talk about the letter of the day. Here is our letter of the day. Hmm. What letter does this look like? Mm-hmm. This is the letter C. Perfect. And what sound does the letter C make? Exactly. The letter C says, C, make a letter C with me. C says k, k, k. Very nice. If you have a letter C in your name, put your finger on your nose. All right, let's see if you got it right. I see that Jesus has an uppercase C, a big C in Castorena. I see that Trinity has an uppercase C in Coleman. And several of our friends have lowercase Cs, a little C. Monica has a C. Maliani Sanchez has a C. Misael Rubacalba has a C. Asael Escobedo has a C. Alan Francisco has two Cs. And Raiden Jays has one C. This is our shape of the day. Let's look at this shape. Does it have any sides? How many sides does it have? I see that this shape has zero sides. It has zero sides and zero corners. Hmm, what shape could this be? Exactly, this is a circle. Everybody say, circle. And what color is our circle today? Perfect. This circle is purple. Look around your house. Do you see anything that's purple? Hmm. I'm looking, I'm looking. Hmm. I don't see anything that's purple at my house. I, oh, I see that my sister has a purple 
case right there, a purple pencil case. Perfect. My sister has a purple case where she keeps her markers. She also has some little purple sheets of paper. Right now, I'm in my sister Jasmine's room. That's why I found some of her things that were purple. Do you see any purple things in your house? If you find something purple, make sure to point it out to somebody at your house and say, wow, look, I found something that is purple. And now we are moving on to the number of the day. Let's count how many smiley faces we have so that we know what our number is. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a number eight. Eight, ocho, eight. And remember, we can make our number eight look like a snowman. We can draw a hat and a face and a scarf and two little arms and it will look like a snowman. The number eight looks like a snowman. Very nice, we are going to sing the days of the week, the months of the year, and then we will do our calendar. Sing with me, days of the week in three, two, one, zero. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Beautiful job, everybody. Hmm. Yesterday, the day of the week was Tuesday. If yesterday was Tuesday, what day is today? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Exactly, today is Wednesday. And now we are going to sing the months of the year. Months of the year in three, two, one, zero. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Come on, you try. That was awesome. Thank you so much, friends. I bet you did a great job at home. We're moving on to our calendar. Just like yesterday, our month is still April. The year is 2020. And today is Wednesday. Yesterday was day 14. That means that today is day 15. Let's say the date together. It is Wednesday, April 15. Great job. We are doing, we are singing our kindergarten ready song and then we will move on to story time. Kindergarten ready song in three, two, one, zero. We do our work to learn. We work to grow our brains. We will be kindergarten ready. Awesome job. Today, I think we should do the mirror cheer. Mirror cheer in three, two, one, zero. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Looking good, looking good. And it is our story time. Today, my iPad is far away from me, so I will be using my cell phone to read the story to you. I have all of the words on my cell phone. Let me find our page and we will get started. All right, here we go. We're all human beings 
as you have now seen, some young, some old, and some in between. Sometimes I wonder, what do all humans need? To find out, listen carefully. See if you agree. Human beings are alive. Unlike blocks and socks, they grow and they change with each tick of the clock. Humans are living like you. They're alive. All humans need certain things to survive. Survive means to stay alive. Humans like you, like Miss Susan, like your family, we are alive. But socks on your feet and the blocks that we play with, those are not alive. Moms are alive. Dads are alive. alive. But cars are not alive. Cookies are not alive. Listen to see what we need to stay alive. I think that you remember there are three things that we need to, one, what is this girl doing? Exactly, she's drinking water. Two, what is this boy eating? Sorry, what is this boy doing? Yep, it looks like he's eating some fried chicken. And three, what do you think that this boy is doing? Yeah, some of you might have said that he is sleeping, but I want you to remember, where do we sleep when we are tired? That's going to be the third thing that we need to stay alive. Go back to that first picture. Water cools humans off. From a drink to a dive, much more than that, it keeps you alive. We need to drink water every single day. It keeps us from being thirsty so we can play. When we get thirsty, we need to drink water, or if we're really, really hot, we can drink water, and the water helps us stay nice and cool so that we're not sweating. The second basic need that you need is food. What's for lunch? A sandwich, fried rice, a taco with meat, it looks like these boys and girls are eating so that they are not hungry. The second thing that we need is food. The first one, remember, was water. And the second thing that we need is food. I want you to think in your head, what did you eat today? Did you eat a sandwich or an apple like this boy? I'm thinking about what I had for dinner. And for dinner, I had some chicken wings and french fries. It was delicious. What did you eat at your house? Oh, I bet it was also really, really yummy. All right, we're moving on. All kinds of food nourish your body and brain. These are fresh fruits and veg vegetables, meat, dairy, and grains. To stay healthy, we need to eat a lot of different kinds of food. Foods like apples, an apple is a fruit. Carrots, carrots are a type of vegetable. Yogurt or milk, that is a type of dairy. Bread, that is a grain. Meat, some more fruits and vegetables like lettuce and tomatoes and that will help you grow up to be really strong and healthy. The third basic need is a safe place to stay, a place to come home to at the end of the day. Remember this special word to say where we live is shelter, say it with me shelter. A shelter is a place where we stay that keeps us nice and safe. Your home is your shelter. Right now, I am at my mom and dad's house. Right now, this is my shelter. But when I am living in Tulsa, I live in an apartment. 
in Tulsa, my shelter is an apartment like this. This is an apartment. Right now, I am in a house. There are different kinds of shelters that you might live in, such as a house, a mobile home, an apartment, and sometimes people even live on a boat, a houseboat. Oh my goodness, there we go. A home can be made of straw or of clay, some high rise in cities, some float on the bay. In some parts of the world, people live on a boat. This is called a houseboat. Some places around the world have houses made of clay and straw. And in Tulsa, most of our houses are made out of bricks. And if you are downtown like Miss Guzman, then your apartment might be really tall. That's called a high rise. What does your house look like? Your shelter. Is it a house? Is it an apartment? Is it a high rise? Is it super tall? Or is it short? Your shelter is super important because regardless of how it looks, it helps to keep you safe. It keeps you dry when it's raining outside. If it's really, really cold outside, your shelter keeps you warm. And if it is really, really hot outside, then your shelter keeps you cool because you can turn on a fan or an air conditioner. Yep, just like I said, shelters protect you from all of the weather. I'm going to read the words for this page. Homes are shelters that protect us from weather. When it's cold outside, humans huddle together. When the temperature rises to 90 or more, humans run from the sun, cooling off indoors. Shelters protect humans from rain and snow, from heat and cold and winds that blow. A shelter make sure, helps to make sure that your body temperature is right where it needs to be so that you don't get too hot or too cold. A shelter keeps, your, keeps the temperature and the weather around you just right. So what are three things that human needs to stay alive? What do they need to survive? The first is something you drink from a cup. Look in your head. What is something that you drink from a cup? Hmm, exactly, water. The second thing fills your stomach up. Hmm, what do we eat when we're hungry? Exactly, we eat yummy food. Food is our second basic need. What is the third? It's a safe place to be. Hmm, a safe place to be. What was the word that we learned for a safe place to be? Oh, that's right, it's a shelter. These are the basic needs. How many basic needs do we have? Count with me. One two, three. We have three basic needs. All right, one more time. Let's think about those basic needs together. We have, we need water, food, and shelter. Exactly. Three things to stay alive and to grow and grow and grow. Great job, friends. Before we move on, I want you to help me do a thumbs up or thumbs down of different things that we need. If this is something that we need to stay alive and grow and survive, give me a thumbs up. If it is something that we do not need, give me a thumbs down. All right. Toy trucks, 
Do we need toy trucks to survive? No, we don't need toy trucks. Boo, do we need food to stay alive? Yep, we sure do. Do we need magic wands to survive? Mm -mm. No, we don't need magic wands. What about crayons? Do we need crayons to survive? No, we don't need crayons. Do we need water to stay alive? Absolutely, we need to drink water. Do we need television to survive? No, we don't need television. Do we need shelter to survive? We sure do. Do we need glitter to survive? No, we don't need glitter. Do we need paper to survive? No, not paper. There are three things that we need to survive. It is food, water, and shelter. Fantastic. You all are so smart. Your brains are humongous. And it is time for our closing circle. Thank you for learning with me today. You all are fantastic. We are going to sing our goodbye song and then I will see you tomorrow. We are singing our goodbye song in three, two, one, zero. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. It is time to say goodbye. Give a smile and wink and eye. It is time to say goodbye to all my friends. All right, friends, you did an awesome job today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you and I miss you. I hope that you are having a good time at home. I am so, so sad that we can't be in the classroom together, but on Friday, we will be uh, having a Zoom conversation together so that you can see me and I can see you and we'll be able to chat and it's going to be a great time. I am going to send all of that information to your families today so that on Friday you know how to log in and we can see each other. I am so excited. Bye friends. I'll see you soon.